quiz. What do you think musophobia is a fear of? And I'll give you a hint. It's one of the most common phobias out there. Fear of mooses? No. It's in fact a fear of mice. And that's what our next myth is about. It's a myth of David versus Goliath proportions. A scream and a stampede later, and well, you know the rest. I'm guessing the plan here is pretty simple. Why don't you spell it out for me? Well, we get some elephants and some ice and see what happens. Right. Well, the circus is coming to town. I don't want to use a circus elephant. They're trained. I think we need a real elephant, something out of the wild. So we need to go somewhere where elephants wander in the wild. Africa. Let's go to Africa. Last time they were here, they put their lives and their lunches on the line when they put great white shark myths to the test in South Africa. Oh, wow! <laughs> but for this myth, they're looking for something a little less lethal. The target species here is the African elephant, and they're not hard to find. Welcome to Aquila Safaris. Thank you. Now we've brought a bucket full of mice. Yes. And I understand you have some elephants. We do indeed, yes. We've also got the lions, the leopards, and um, the big five. Behind me are our test subject elephants. Now these guys are semi-habituated, which is the only reason I'm allowed to be this close. If we were actually in the wild, this would be extremely dangerous. I've seen elephants in zoos. I've seen them in the Discovery Channel, but uh, being up close to them in their natural environment is something else. They're wonderful creatures. Back in the safety of the truck, the boys need to work out just how to get their minuscule mice next to these massive mammals. All right, so the elephants are over there. We've got their arch nemesis right here. How are we going to get this mouse to those elephants? Slingshot. <laughs> OK, seriously. We need to improvise some kind of mouse delivery system, something that won't freak out the elephants. Well, where there are elephants, there's elephant dung. So maybe we get a ball of dung and we'll dig a hole and put the mouse in. And then we'll just yank Pull it over. String. Yeah. You take your piece of elephant dung and you take your mouse. This is a stand-in mouse. The real one will be later. Put him in the hole, cover him with the cardboard. Lay it out and think elephants are going to come on by. And wait in the distance with your monofilament. When the elephant gets near, boop, you expose the mouse and all hell breaks loose. We've chosen this area because it's open enough that we can see what's going on. And we know there's some food over in that direction. And we're hoping that the elephants will come through here on their way to the food. And at the right moment, we'll roll over the ball of dung, release the mouse, and see what happens. Hey, Adam, are you done yet? I'm all set, ready to go. Well, with everything ready to go, all that's left is to get some fairly predictable predictions. For me, I see this the same way I would see a person looking at a fly on the ground. It's going to be so small that you may not even notice it. I don't see any reason why an elephant would be afraid of a mouse. I don't have high hopes for this myth. With the sensible money on the no reaction theory, it's go time. The elephants innocently approach the dung of doom in what must be the most easy to anticipate outcome in Mythbusters history. But then, as crazy as it seems, the elephant backs away. The Mythbusters, like me, are flabbergasted. Well, what just happened is a classic Mythbusters scenario. We were all like, yeah, right, this little guy's gonna scare those big guys. And it did. I mean, our jaws just dropped because it was clear as day. The mouse came out, the elephant stopped in its tracks, like, whoa! And then it gently tiptoed away as if this thing was deadly. We all thought this was never going to happen, yet there it was. There it was, clear as day. But with a result as unbelievable as that, we can't call it yet. Next up, Adam, Jamie, a mouse, and an elephant play chicken. He definitely seemed to take notice of the mouse. In the bumpy road that is Mythbusters, the team has had some pretty unexpected results. An exploding tire can kill. Pulled his spine out of his head. And a bull let loose in a china shop does not go on the rampage. That was nothing like I imagined it would be. 
But Adam and Jamie have just had the most unexpected result in Mythbusters history. It looks like it's true that elephants are scared of mice. That was amazing. The elephant totally avoided the mouse. He looked down, saw it, backed up, made a wide berth around this little guy. Working under the assumption that it must have been the movement of the dung that freaked the Ellie out, the boys reset for take two, dung movement only. But this time, the elephant was undeterred. This is getting ridiculous. He didn't seem to respond to the ball of dung at all, and I think my timing was exactly the same as it was with the mouse in there. <laughs> Works for me. Elephants are afraid of mice. <laughs> Not only was I totally wrong in the first test about the elephant not reacting at all to the mouse, but after it happened, I was sure that it was the dung moving. I was absolutely positive that it was a dung moving. So we do another test, the dung moves, the elephant doesn't even notice. It has to have been the mouse. Working on the basis that science is repeatable, the boys are going to retry test one to see if they still get this incredible result. All right, let's see what happens. For the final time, the elephants approach. And lo and behold, in this David and Goliath battle, David wins again. He definitely seemed to take notice of the mouse, like it was a significantly different thing than just the dog. I wasn't dreading this result. I'm always pleased to be completely wrong. I'm more astonished that I'm finishing the day calling something plausible that I knew wasn't plausible when I got up this morning. He definitely didn't freak out, but he was very cautious. The mouse had his attention. It's that little grain of truth that we always look for in a myth, and there it was. There it was indeed. So with the mouse safe and well, despite <laughs> Adam's best efforts, and the elephants ready to move on, it's time to wrap this one up. How are we going to call this one? <laughs> Well, it wasn't a stampede. It wasn't like the cartoons where the elephant freaked out at the sight of the mouse. But the idea that the elephant was cautious around the mouse, I'd say we have to call that plausible. I'd agree. What do you think? Hello.